Hey guys, this is Fluid Free Ride, and uh, today we want to show you the 2021 City Rider. And we're really excited about this. This is a really cool scooter. Look how nicely designed it is. And we've just created the 2021 versions. There are a few upgrades, not too many, but especially one I want to show you, which is uh, the new app, which makes this really cool and, uh, you know, a little gadgety, but, uh, you know, I want to show you. Um, so, first of all, this scooter is uh, for short inner city commutes. Um, 18 miles per hour top speed, um, roughly 7 to 10 miles in range, depending on how hard you ride it. And um, you know, nicely designed, it's very lightweight, uh, 26 pounds only. So, uh, you know, folds down easily, not going too much into it. It rides the same as the old version, so you can check out the other video. Um, but now to the improvements. Number one, we've added a bell. Okay, that's cool. Um, number two, um, we added an app, and that's actually really cool and enables you to customize a few things. So. Come over here and let's see how that works out. So we want to turn on the scooter and uh, you see this lights up. Um, you can use the scooter completely without the app. Um, it's not necessary, but you can set it up once um, to your liking and then, um, you know, it just works like that. Or you can always connect it um, as you would like. But let me briefly show you how, uh, how the app works. So uh, with uh, iOS and Android, uh, you need to download the app and it's called Mini Robot. Once you start the app, um, it will first search for the scooter. If your scooter is next to you and it's turned on, um, then it will automatically connect or you can select the scooter down here that pops up and then it's connected. And you see how it looks like right here. Um, you see your speed, which you can see live reading while you're riding. Um, I would highly recommend not to use your phone while you're riding the scooter. So only do this while you're stationary. Um, and you can do a few things. You can change um, uh, comfort mode and sport mode and you see how it here changes in the display. That's relatively straightforward. Um, you also see um, here in the screen how the top speed right there, this red little marker actually moves when you set it to comfort mode, moves down and this speed can be customized in the settings. So you can basically select for gear one, you can select the top speed and for gear two, you can select the top speed as well. Um, you can turn on the light. Um, again, I mean, just a gimmick uh, because while you're riding it, uh, you know, you're going to use the buttons right here. Um, now, one thing I really, really like is you can lock the scooter. So let's press the lock button right here and then you see what happens if you zoom out a little bit. You see it starts, it starts beeping. It's not very loud, but you can actually not move the scooter anymore, right? You can't, you can't ride it and like right away it will automatically break you. Now, you can still carry it, obviously, um, but yeah, if you just pop in somewhere, maybe it's pretty useful. You don't want anybody to mess with your scooter. It will stay on during that time. It will not turn off. And then if you want to ride it again, you can unlock it right here. And then you see it moves easily again. So that's number one. Now let me show you the um, settings right here. Um, and you see you can first switch between um, miles and kilometers, uh, imperial or metric units. Um, then you can turn on and off cruise control and you can actually select the speed right here on what you want, uh, um, when you want the cruise control speed to kick in. And uh, the key on this scooter is once you hit that speed and you hold it for just a little bit, you will hear a little beep and it will maintain that speed. You can let go of the throttle and then if you want to deactivate cruise control, hit the brake or hit the throttle again and you know it will just resume normal operations. Um, initially, I would recommend turn cruise control off. It's just a safety measure, you know, it will feel weird potentially if you don't know what's coming. So first learn how to ride and then you can experiment with uh, cruise control. And here you can select the battery capacity. You want to set this to 7.8, that's the battery in here. And that will actually govern how the um, display shows your battery charge, right? Um, energy recovery level you can actually change, but that means, uh, you know, there is electric braking in here and uh, it will recover a little bit of the, of the kinetic energy to the battery when you actually brake. Um, riding mode, um, here we can select actually the top speed of the first gear comfort mode. It's set to six miles per hour, but you can set it for instance to 10 if you want this to be the speed limit on gear one. And then sport mode, I think by default is set to 15. So if you want to ride to the full 18 miles an hour, you will need to go into the app and actually set it to 18 miles an hour. Now that's all the settings. Um, you have some cool statistics right here. If we go on this little booklet and um, you can see um, how long you've been riding, um, your total driving time and a lot of other things. The uh, remaining battery capacity, um, the voltage. Uh, this is also really good for diagnostics in case something is ever wrong with your battery. You know, we can check 
is the battery broken just by looking at the voltage right here. So that was pretty much the app. Um, look, overall, um, we recommend this scooter for everybody who has uh, short, short commutes, who wants something lightweight uh, that doesn't break the bank. Um, it's relatively well priced. Um, it's very versatile because there's indicators as well, which is really, really cool. And uh, other than that, yeah, a really, really cool, nicely designed entry-level scooter. So uh, I think that's all. And uh, remember to always keep it fluid.